Welcome. Today we will be talking to you today about the Ono Girder Splint and its application. This is brought to you by Dr. Grant Pierre, Dr. Namita Bardwaj, and Dr. John Hagedorn. For this video, we will be taking you through the following agenda items. Materials, patient positioning, owner gutter splint application, post splinting instructions, documentation and billing, and tricks of the trade. It is important to gather all the materials you need for this splint prior to its applications. The materials that you will need include scissors, stockinette, an ace wrap, soft roll, and fiberglass. Please make sure you have all the materials handy prior to starting the splint application. To place an ulnar gutter splint, you will need to first place the patient in the proper position. Ideally, the patient should be positioned so that the person applying the splint can easily access the impacted extremity. The patient's extremity should be placed with the wrist extended by 10 to 20 degrees. One should flex the metacarpal phalangeal joints of the ring and little finger by 50 to 90 degrees and also flex the proximal interphalangeal and distal interphalangeal joints of the ring and little finger by 10 to 15 degrees. Place the patient in the appropriate position for an ulnar gutter splint application. Apply the stockinette over the injured area and cut to size. Place the soft roll over the extremity Make sure you have a 50% overlap while applying the soft roll. Apply the fiberglass over the ulnar aspect of the upper extremity. Fold the stockinette and padding edges over the splint. Apply the ace wrap using the same pattern as the soft roll. Mold the fiberglass to the injured area while it is still wet. Post splint application, the patient is going to need instructions and you're gonna have activities to perform. First, please make sure that the patient is nerve intact 
and it has good capillary refill after the splint has been placed and it is dried. Please inform the patient of precautions, including not getting the splint wet, not sticking objects into the splint, encouraging the use of a hair dryer on cold if itching is a problem. Please give them precautions of increasing numbness, tingling, and pain that is not controlled with medications as this could be an emergent condition that needs to be addressed. Remember, you should always get post-splint x-rays. Tricks of the trade. Please make sure that you have your material ready to go before you start the splint application and that it is easily reachable. Utilization of lukewarm water allows the splinting material to set quickly. However, does not allow it to become too hot that it can burn the patient. Make sure that before, during, and after the splint application, you are talking to the patient and informing them what you are doing. And remember, people do not have x-ray vision, so the only thing that the patient and other folks will see is the splint, so please make it look nice.